you know, at the beginning, yeah, where I, laughed. I asked you a question, you go, hello, yeah. it really threw me off. I'm <laughs> sorry. Do you want to start again? No. <laughs> I think it's a good outtake, though. Hello. Hello. Again, once upon a time in 1970, three gallerists in a small city in Switzerland created a show that they simply called Art. That became Art Basel. It's now in Basel, Miami, and Hong Kong. And it's a celebration not only of contemporary art, but a celebration of life, particularly now. It feels very moving to be here with you and everybody. But as the person who put this show together, what's your message to the thousands of people already here in this hall? It's so rewarding at the end of the day to feel the support, to see everyone pitching in together. I mean, I told you this story before, James. The moment the Hong Kong public knew that we were having a show, the phones just never stopped ringing. And it was from friends, it was from, you know, supporters generally with one question, what can I do to help? And this is something that I believe, I don't think happens in every city. And, and for that, I, I remain eternally grateful, very, very thankful, but also, you know what? Very, very encouraged and inspired. Well, one of the reasons for that encouragement and that sign of hope is that we're surrounded by 130 galleries, even more than last year. And amongst those 130 are 11 that are completely new to the Art Basel experience, meaning they've not participated before in any of your global fairs. Yet they chose Hong Kong. Does this mean that people still see Hong Kong as a place for business and culture and more deeply as an international gathering point? You know what, I think it's very reassuring. It's also really an honor. And if you think about Hong Kong's ambition to be a cultural hub, it's not to be, I think we are a cultural hub. We have been. I believe that them showing up is, is such a huge sign, a positive sign for all of us to know that we, we still got it. We just need to stay on course and work harder to get there. You know what I mean? This is deeper than just an art show. You have collaborations with public institutions, including world-class museums like M+, with whom you co-commission this extraordinary illumination by the artist Ellen Powell, moving across a 65-metre LED screen overlooking the Victoria Harbour. I was one of the few that was privileged to see it as it happened. And I heard people say, despite all the bureaucracy in Hong Kong, it couldn't have happened even in London or New York. Is that an exaggeration? Is that true, really? Is that what someone said? That's what a few people said around me. I never thought of it that way. I mean, I think now that I look back at a number of the public projects that Art Basel has commissioned over the sort of 10 years that we've been in Hong Kong, I feel perhaps they're right in the way that, to be honest, every time we wanted to do a public project, we always thought, okay, this is going to be impossible. But all it took was really a couple, you know, all it took was, was really just trying to explain to people what it is that we're trying to do and trying to find the right, how do you say, collaborators. And, and we've managed. I mean, if you think about it, you know, we worked with the trans, we've lit up the ICC tower before, and now to be able to light M Plus is, is, is really a great honor. And perhaps I think, you know, maybe that person is right. And I'd like to think that anything or with art is possible here. Is there one work that has you stopping? each time you go by, and you must walk this floor dozens of times in a few hours. <laughs> wow, too many to choose, but perhaps because the work is right behind me, I will have to say Lu Kuo Song's moons. I mean, how groovy is that? And this is the one work I walk past every day, and it doesn't even scream for attention, but you have no choice but to look at it. I'm James Chow, host of The China Current. We thank you for walking on this journey with us. Keep following us there at The China Current.